When we want to find the equation of a straight line graph, we need to bear in mind that the general format or the general standard form of a straight line graph equation is y is equal to mx plus c. The m represents the gradient of the line and the c tells us where the y-intercept of that line is. Let's take a look at some examples. Determine the equation of a line with a gradient of 2 and passing through the point negative 2 and 3. So if we start off with our standard form of a straight line uh, graph equation, we already know that the gradient of the graph is 2, so we can replace the m with 2. What we are not given in this example is the value of the y-intercept. This point here, negative 2 and 3, is not the y-intercept. Remember the y-intercept is the point where x is 0. So unless the x-coordinate of a point is 0, that point is not the y-intercept. But what we can do is use that point to substitute into the equation to solve for c. So if we substitute in the point negative 2 and 3 into the equation, the negative 2 represents the x-coordinate and the 3 the y-coordinate. So we will have 3 is equal to 2 times negative 2 plus c. That gives us negative 4, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and if we add 4 to both sides in order to solve for c, we get the c value to be 7. So therefore, the equation of this graph is 2x plus 7. Please pause the video and try this example on your own. Determine the equation of the line passing through the points negative 2 and a half and negative 3 quarters and negative 1. Okay, so remembering that a straight line graph takes the form y equals mx plus c. If we want to find the equation of that line, we need to find the m value and we need to find the c value. There is a formula that you can use to calculate gradient. It is the change in y over the change in x. So if we substitute in our two points here, if we label this x1 and y1 and x2 and y2, y2 minus y1 will be negative 1 subtract a half, x2 minus x1 will be negative 3 quarters subtract negative 2. If you punch that into your calculator, you get the gradient to be negative 6 over 5. So we now know that our equation is y equals negative 6 over 5x plus c. Now you can substitute in the coordinates of a point. It doesn't matter which coordinates you substitute in. So I'm going to substitute the point to negative 2 and a half. So I'm just going to go and do that up here. So the y value is a half. The x value is negative 2. Negative 6 over 5 multiplied by negative 2 is 12 over 5. If we then minus 12 over 5 from both sides in order to solve for c, we get c to be negative 19 over 10. So therefore, our final equation is negative 6 over 5x minus 19 over 10.